Alrighty, guys, we're hitting at 63% or last 37 NFL tier package bets on my website. And if you want to see which one of these free picks on this video that I'm actually betting on personally, I'll include a link for my NFL tier package bets in the description section below. And just a reminder, guys, if you sign up for that package here today, you're going to get access to that membership for the next 30 days. And as an added bonus here, guys, you're also going to get access to all my cheaper memberships on that site, absolutely free as well. And with that, guys, let's go ahead and dive into some free content. We're going to take a look at the Raiders at the Broncos, 4.05 Eastern start time. Denver's minus three, totals 42. But despite being favored, the Broncos lost five out of their last six, and they covered only 33% of their ball games for the entire year. Now, this pitiful Denver offense is scoring fewer points a game than any other team in the NFL. They've also done a poor job of establishing the run game. They're running for fewer yards a game than most clubs in the AFC. They're facing a Las Vegas squad who's struggling a bit themselves, but they did cover the point spread in three out of their last six. And of course, those were covers against the likes of Houston, Kansas City, and this very Denver team. And uh, as a matter of fact, that Denver cover was a 32-23 victory uh, back in Vegas on October 2nd. And for as bad as these guys have looked, well, Josh Jacobs still rushes for nearly 100 yards a game. And he actually ranks fourth in the entire league in rushing yards. And much to my surprise here, guys, well, quarterback Derek Carr, he's still in the top 10 in the league in QBR. Now, injury-wise, Diablo, Martinez, and Perryman, they're all listed as questionable. Renfro and Waller are still out. Meanwhile, for uh, Denver on the other side, Hinton, Compton, Fleming, Browning, Simmons, Beck, Glasgow, and Judy, they're all listed as questionable for them. When it comes to the weather report, clear and crisp in the Mile High City on Sunday, 40 degrees and a very slight breeze by kickoff. And when it comes to the total, Denver saw every one of their games this season stay under the number except for one. Meanwhile, Vegas saw unders against the likes of Jacksonville, New Orleans, and Arizona. I'm going to lean toward the Raiders, plus three, under 42. Next ball game, it is going to be Bengals at the Steelers, 425 Eastern kickoff. Cincinnati's minus four and a half on the road, totals 41. Now, the Bengals should steamroll these guys in Pittsburgh. They won five out of their last seven, and they failed to cover only one time during that span. They're also scoring over 25 points a game, and they're led by one of the best quarterbacks in the game. And, of course, Joey Burrow, he's thrown for over 2,500 yards already, and he's third in the league in touchdowns. And when it comes to defensive play on the other side of the football, Von Bell's third in the league in interceptions with four of them. Now, injury-wise, Reeder, Topu, Hilton, Flowers, Hubbard, Evans, and Hill, they're all questionable. We offer the Steelers Fitzpatrick, Witherspoon, and Harris. They're listed as questionable for them. When it comes to the weather report, windy and cold in the Steel City on Sunday. It'll be 28 degrees and 12-mile-an-hour winds by game time. When it comes to the number, the Steelers saw overs against the likes of the Eagles, Jets, and Browns. Meanwhile, since he saw their last four straight get over the total themselves, I'm going to lean toward the Bengals, minus four and a half, over 41. Next ball game, it is going to be Cowboys at the Vikings, and that'll be a 425 Eastern start time. Dallas is the one-point favorite, totals 47 and a half. Now, the Vikings' weakest part of their defense has been their second, uh, their second, their secondary. <coughs> These guys are allowing just way too many yards through the air. Having said that, though, it's the Cowboys on the other side who've been very little threat throwing the football this year. They're actually throwing for only a buck 98 per contest. That actually puts them in the bottom 10 in the league in that particular category. And even though the Vikings haven't really committed to the run game much this year, they may decide to feed Dalvin Cook this week because the Cowboys have, uh, you know, not a great rush defense. 
Uh, they're actually in the bottom five in rush defense in the NFL right now. And, of course, Dalvin Cook, he's averaging five yards a carry. Ranks in the top ten in total rushing yards. Now, injury-wise, Ellison, Tomlinson, Darisaw, and Evans are questionable. Dantzler's out. Meanwhile, for Dallas, Zeke and Anthony Barr, they're listed as questionable for them. When it comes to the total, three out of Dallas's last four did get over the number. Meanwhile, five out of Minnesota's last seven got over the total themselves. I'm going to lean toward Minnesota plus one over 47 and a half. Next contest, little Sunday night football. I'm talking about the Chiefs at the Chargers, 820 Eastern start time. Kansas City's minus six, totals 50. Now, the Chiefs should roll in this one. They got a top five rush defense, and the Chargers are in the bottom three in yards on the ground. And, of course, when it comes to offensive production in Kansas City, well, the Chiefs are throwing for more yards a game than any other team in the league right now. Patty Mahomes has thrown for over 2,900 yards already, and he currently leads the NFL right now with 25 touchdowns. And, of course, Travis Kelsey, his favorite target, he's leading the league with eight touchdown catches. Uh, only other person that has just as much of, uh, as him is Devontae Adams, both guys with eight touchdown grabs. Now, no real surprise here. The Chiefs are leading the league in points per contest. They're facing a Charger D who's in the bottom five in points allowed per game. When it comes to the injury report, Valdez, Scantling, Niang, Clark, Hardman, Wiley, and Smith-Schuster, they're a little bit banged up here for Kansas City, uh, so keep an eye on them by game time. Meanwhile, for the Chargers, Allen, Rumpf, Pipkins, and Everett, they're all listed as questionable for them. When it comes to the total, the Chargers saw three out of their last five get over the line, throwing out that Niner game. Meanwhile, Kansas City saw overs against the likes of Las Vegas, Tampa Bay, and the Niners themselves. I'm going to lean toward the Chiefs, minus six, over 50. And with that, we're going to jump into our next and final breakdown for the video. It is going to be Niners at the Cardinals, 815 Monday night in Mexico City. San Francisco is minus eight and a half, totals 43. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, sorry about that. <clears throat> now this Niner defense is allowing fewer yards a game than any other team. Uh, in the NFL right now. They also have the number one rush defense. Fred Warner and Drake uh, Greenlaw, they've combined for over 130 tackles between the two of them. Meanwhile, Nick Bosa is second in the NFL with nine and a half sacks. But if you think it's just all defense in San Francisco, just keep in mind that their offense is also in the top 10 in offensive yards per game. Now they're facing a porous Arizona defense who... Has a whole bunch of problems slowing down the pass. And when it comes to giving up points, the cards are in the bottom three in points allowed per game. Now, injury-wise, McCoy, Brown, Garcia, Prater, Humphreys, Murray, and Murphy are questionable. Meanwhile, for San Francisco, Gray and Ebucam, they're listed as questionable. Armstead and Croft are still out indefinitely. Now, weather-wise, calm and comfortable for kickoff in Mexico City. Uh, they're playing this game in uh, Estadio Azteca, which is an open-air stadium, uh, so they will be exposed to the elements. That said, not many elements because they are in Mexico City. Uh, they're in Central America, and uh, we're looking at 62 degrees at kickoff with an 8-mile-an-hour wind. Now, total-wise, the Cards saw their last four straight get over the number. San Francisco saw overs against the likes of the Rams, Chiefs, and Carolina. I'm going to lean towards San Francisco, minus 8.5, over 43. With that, guys, now it's time for our quick pick recap. I like the Raiders, plus 3, under 42. Cincinnati, minus 4.5, over 41. One final reminder, we're hitting at 63%. Our last 37 NFL tier package bets on my website. Minnesota, plus 1, over 47.5. Kansas City, minus 6, over 50. With my next and final free pick for the video, give me San Francisco minus eight and a half over 43.